Smash it! Smash it! Smash him! <laughs> Go! <laughs> What's good people? Ashton Taylor Burns here. Welcome slash welcome back to another video. We're back today. And in today's video, I'm going to be replacing my head unit in my car. So I'm going to be replacing this thing right here with this uh, brand new Bluetooth head unit right here. The main reason why I want to replace my head unit is because the one that I have in right now, there's literally no there's nothing wrong with it, right? But um, the main issue is this fucking thing here, the charging port on my phone's messed up, and this just keeps falling out of it, man. It's just pissing me off. I'm like right in the middle of just like jamming out to a song, right? And this fucking thing just falls out. So, I want to put a Bluetooth head unit in, and plus, plus it's 2020, man. Like, who doesn't have fucking Bluetooth now? It's 2020, like, got to upgrade this shit. So that's what we're doing today. I'm going to show you guys how to do it, show you guys all the steps. So here's the tools you need for this, the tools you need for this job. So what we've got is we've got some wire cutters, some plastic pry tools, a couple of Phillips screwdrivers, a crimp tool, wire strippers and you just got some bullet connectors right here now the vast majority of these tools are optional so if you don't have them don't worry like what you absolutely need is you need these two screwdrivers and wire strippers could help but you don't need it but yeah definitely the screwdrivers so yeah let's get into this the first thing you want to do is you want to disconnect your negative battery and the reason why you want to do this is because when you're doing any kind of electrical work on your car you want that battery disconnected because if you don't, you can short things out and you can break things, you can short things, you can blow fuses. Trust me, I've done it before. I blew out the fucking, um, the fuses in my amp because I didn't disconnect the battery. The wiring from the amp touched a piece of metal and it just blew the fuses out. So, yeah, definitely make sure you do that. The head unit's here and basically this is going to vary from car to car but on my car there's two screws down here and you have to remove this black plate here and there's a screw here and a screw here so I'll do that now. Yeah, it's basically just the four clips comes right out and as you can see the screw there and a screw there. And now all I have to do is take this tray out like so. And there's a screw there, and a screw there. You see now that's literally how easy it is to take this head unit out. So there's a few electrical connections on the back like you can see here, and there's like some on the head unit as well. So. I'm going to go ahead and unplug all these electrical connections and we'll check back in then. I've just unplugged everything now and as you can see it really is that easy. Like the head unit is nice and free now. And you can see here like here's like you know all the wiring for the head unit and a few other things. But this is the main thing we've got to worry about right here. Because that's for the head unit. I've just come to the realisation that I'm actually going to have to manually wire this myself. Which is kind of annoying slightly. Because if you look at this. So here's the wiring for your um, head unit and the, what the previous owner has done is he's actually like cut out the stock wiring plug and like hard wired it himself which I'm not really sure why you'd do that because what you can actually do now is you can go into like Repco or Super Cheap Auto and you can like buy a wiring harness adapter that goes from your stock wiring plug to your new head unit right so this is the harness here for my new head unit, right? So you can buy some connections that go into the back of this that then go into your stock wiring plug. So it literally makes so you don't have to do any wiring at all. Like you just have to, it's just plug and play. But in this case, whoever installed the last head unit in this car, they custom wired it themselves for whatever reason. So now what it means, I'm going to I'm gonna have to manually wire my one in, which is, yeah, it's not ideal, but we'll show you guys how to do that. What I'm going to need to do is I'm going to like figure out which of these wires does what. So in most cases it's colour coded right, so you see like you know the purple wire on here will match up to the purple wire that's on here but just looking at this now, it's, there's like different coloured wires so it's gonna, it's gonna be a weird one. I'm just gonna try copy what the previous owner's done because yeah these are like, I can just see by looking at it now, there's like different colour wires so I'm just gonna copy the wiring he's done and then hopefully it works, but if not, I'm probably gonna have to search up like a wiring diagram on Google. Before I get this started, I'm just gonna take photos of like where each of the wires goes to on the wiring harness down there, and I'm also gonna just mark it and make a note of it in my phone as well, like just so like, 
if for whatever reason it doesn't work, I can go back to it and refer to it on my phone and see how it was. Okay guys, I'm pretty sure I've figured out what I need to do. I've just kind of been sitting here just thinking about like the plan of attack, but I think I've worked it out. So what I'm gonna do is, I was gonna cut like behind these crimps here, but then that was just confusing me so much because like the colors on these wires here is different to what's on my new harness here, right? So what I, what I thought about doing is I'm just gonna cut all the wires off this plug here, then crimp them, and then connect them to this because all the wires that are right here are pretty much the same as all the wires on this new harness so it just more it just makes a bit more sense to me doing it like that because then i'm not going to get as confused but basically literally all it is is just the wires are all color coded right so you just got to match the color to the correct color from the old harness to the new harness i'm just going to voice over the next couple of clips here and i'm uh, sorry if my voice sounds a bit weird i'm actually filming this voice over like a couple of days after I've actually filmed the footage you're seeing right now and I'm like a little bit sick so if you're wondering why then yeah that's why but anyway what I'm doing here is I just use the wire strippers to strip off all the ends of the wiring and now what I'm doing is I'm twisting each of the individual wires and then I'm going to put bullet connectors on the ends and then I'm going to crimp it down. I mean like I'm saying you know you don't need wire strippers and like a crimp tool to do this but it just helps so much man. Alright, now that that's done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my bullet connectors, put it on the end of the wire and crimp it down. And I'm going to do this for each of the individual 13 wires on the harness. Now, I'm not going to show you me doing every single one because that's going to take too long. And you, I'm sure you guys get the point after I show you a couple, right? So, yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing. Now that that's done, what I'm doing here is I'm cutting off all the old wiring off the plug. And then this is the wiring I'm going to use to like wire into my new harness. I'm going to go ahead and put bullet connectors over all of these exposed wires and I've also just zip tied some of the wiring down here just to make it a bit more tidy because my god it's just messy, there's just wiring everywhere so that kind of just separates the wiring a bit and makes it a bit more clean. Everything's crimped down now as you can see, so we've got the new harness here and we've got all the crimps on the old harness, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect both of these two together, connect up all the wiring, plug the head unit in, switch the car on and just test it to make sure it works. You definitely want to test it before you screw everything back together because if, if you don't test it and then you try to turn it on and it doesn't work, then you have to go back and you're just wasting time at that point connecting up the old harness to the new harness so pretty much all you do is you just color match the wires right so you know black to black red to red yellow to yellow purple to purple so on and so forth legit all i'm doing is i'm just going through finding the two wires that match and connecting them together like there's not really that much to it like it's really all there is moment of truth it is the moment of truth so when I turn my key, the head unit should turn on if I've done it correctly. So get the key turned. Oh! It's on! Alright, so it's on. So that's a good sign. I'm going to try and connect my phone to the Bluetooth and see if that works. I think I've sorted this. Um, I'll just put on a copyright free song because I don't want that copyright shit on here. Uh, what do we got in here? Oh! It works! Wait. It works, man! Let's go! Let's go! Fuck that sick! No aux cord, man! It's fucking 2020! You don't need an aux cord, you need some Bluetooth, man! That's sick, man! Fuck yes, that's sick! Alright, let's, let's get this bolted back up now, let's finish this off. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Like my shit if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're new around here and we'll see you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.